Hi there, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on similar triangles and it is practice questions. So here's a question. We have um, this shape here. We're told that MQ, so the distance from M to Q, is 25. We're told the distance of OP from O to P is 14. And we're told that the distance from M to O is 7. And what you need to find is the distance NO right here. So pause the video, work on the question, and um, then restart the video, and I will work through the question. Okay. So... Um, Part of this is trying to figure out what relates to what here. We can see that we have two similar triangles and we have an angle here, theta, let's call it theta, which is exactly the same as this angle here, theta. And this angle here, I'm just going to make a big red dot has to correspond or be the same size actually as this angle right here. So this angle and this angle have to be equal just as this angle and this angle must be equal. So as a result we have similar triangles. The relationship between um, this side and this side corresponds to the relationship between OQ and OP. So this side with respect to this side is the same relationship as this side with respect to this side. All right. So now we know that the entire distance from M to Q is 25. So this entire distance here is 25. We also know that the distance from M to O is 7. All right. This entire distance is 25. This distance here is 7. As a result, this distance here must be 18 from O to Q. We're also told that Ah, uh, what are we told here? OP, yes. OP is 14. So from here to here, the distance is 14. So we're looking for NO, and I'm going to put that on the top of my equation. So I'm going to say NO with respect to 7 equals 14 with respect to 18. And O with respect to 7 equals 14 with respect to 18. And the reason I've set it up that way, NO is my, you could think of it as the base, and if you flip this triangle over, this is also the base. That's our long side, or our, the base of this triangle, you could think of it that way. And the 7 corresponds to the 18. So there's that relationship. So the NO corresponds to the 14. The 7 corresponds to the 18. So now we're going to solve for NO. And we're going to multiply this side by 7. Multiply this side by 7. Cancel on this side. So NO equals 14 times 7 divided by 18. So we have 14 times 7 divided by 18 which equals 5.4. So NO equals 5.4. Okay, next question. So again you can pause the video work on this question. What the question says is the height of a tree needs to be determined. 
when the tree casts a 25 foot shadow, a nearby 5 foot post casts a 4 foot shadow. What is the height of the tree? So pause the video, try the question, then restart the video and I will work on the question. Okay, so here we have height of the tree, which is our question mark. That's the thing we're looking for. And here is the shadow of the tree, the length of the shadow of the tree. Here's the height of the post, and here's the length of the shadow of the post, the four feet. So I'm going to set it up as height with respect to shadow. The height of the tree is our unknown, so I'm, going, so I'm going to put it down as H, and the length of the shadow is 25 feet. And that equals the height of the post, which is 5 feet, and the length of the post shadow is 4 feet. Okay, so now in order to find the height, I'm going to just um, take the steps to get the 25 feet out of here. So I'm going to multiply this side by 25 feet, and I'll multiply this side by 25 feet. These two cancel. We end up with height equals 5 times 25 feet divided by 4 feet. Now we just use our calculator and what have we got? Oh yes, I just dropped my units here. There's feet. Feet divided by feet here, cancel. So we have 5 feet times 25 divided by 4. <clears throat> So that is 5 times 25 divided by 4 equals 31.25. So the height of this tree is 31.25 feet. And I'm not going to worry about sig figs with this question. Um, but if you were worried about it, we only have one sig fig here. This is two. We have one here and one here. So we'd end up with 30 feet if we were concerned about significant figures. Okay. And that video is presented to you by Wise Guys. You have a good day.